Hello guys! Today we will create three types of realistic materials in V-Ray for SketchUp. I will focus on diffuse, reflections, bump and displacement. By the end you will know how to create photorealistic materials easily. This is my scene and I will create three different materials. Remember that you can create this lighting setup with my latest tutorial Studio Lighting. Firstly, I will focus on the fabric material. I go to the Asset Editor, click on the Materials tab and create new generic material, fabric. Firstly, I will create something simple. I will upload one map only. I click on the Texture slot, choose Bitmap and upload this darker map. I will apply this material to the model. OK, it's done. I can change the mapping. I click on the model and choose Tree Planner Projection Word. And it's done. I go to the Edit tab and I can increase or decrease the dimensions. I will change it to 50 and I think that it looks much better. I go to the Scene 2 to focus on the fabric only. Let's render the scene. This is my material. I think that looks very nice, but we can improve it. Hi there, if you are enjoying the content and you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon. It supports the channel and you will never miss out on the latest videos. To do this, I go to the Asset Editor, to the Materials, and instead of uploading the texture only, I will create a fall-off map. To do this, I right-click on the texture slot, choose Rub in and then I click on the fall off map. As we can see, a texture in color A is uploaded. This is our darker map. I will upload a brighter texture at color B. I click on the texture slot, choose bitmap and upload the brighter map. OK, it's uploaded. I go to the previous asset and let's see that we have gradient between darker and brighter map. I go to the previous asset, I can change the preview, I click on the three dots over here and choose fabric preview. And let's notice that in some places we have brighter map and in another places darker map. Let's render the scene. This is our visualization. We can compare it with the previous render. This render is without fall of map and this one is created when a fall of map is applied. I think that this one looks much better because we have darker and brighter areas. OK, that's not all. I can create even better effect. To do this, I will use Mix Map. I go to the Fabric Material, right click on the Texture slot, choose Rub In and then Mix Map. Using Mix Map, we can blend two colors or two maps together. As we can notice at the color bottom option, the fall of map is uploaded. Let's take a look. I click on the texture slot and this is my fall of map. I will copy this texture, right click copy and paste it to the color top. Right click and paste as copy. Nothing has changed. I need to upload the mix map texture. I prepare a texture for this. And this is our map for fabric mix map. I will upload it here. I click on the mix map, texture slot, bitmap and upload fabric mix map. I go to the previous asset and let's see that nothing has changed. It's fine because color top and color bottom have the same texture. We will change it. I go to the color bottom right click, rub in and color correction. I'd like to brighten this map a little bit. I go to the lightness mode, change it to gain gamma lift and I will increase gain and gamma value to 1.3. Let's see that our map is much brighter. If I go to the previous asset, we can notice very interesting effect. According to this map, which we have uploaded before, we have created the texture with darker and brighter map. Let's render this scene. And I think that this effect is too strong. We need to change it. So I go to the color button, click on the texture, and I will change the gain and gamma value to 1.05. 
Let's render again, and this result is much better. We can notice darker and brighter spots. Additionally, I go to the BAMP tab and upload the map. This one, Fabric BAMP Texture. I will change transfer function to sRGB to have a darker map. I go to the previous asset and let's remember to set the intensity, the amount value to 0 0.05, 0 0.1. When the BAMP value is too high, the effect is not realistic. And this is our final render with a fabric material. Let's move on and create something different. It will be a plastic material for a coffee table. I go to the next scene and I will focus on this material. I go to the asset editor and create new generic material plastic. Firstly, I will set the color. It will be a white color. Remember not to set the white color as 255 in RGB color mode. Let's set something darker. Then I go to the reflection color. Reflection color is reflection intensity. I will set it to maximum value. And the reflection glossiness is a sharpness of reflection. At the beginning, I will set reflection glossiness to one. Then I go to the plastic material and apply it to the model. Let's render the scene. This is our material, but let's notice that the reflections are too sharp. We need to change it. That's why I'll decrease reflection glossiness value, for example, to 0 0.85. And this is my effect when reflection glossiness is set to 0 0.85. Let's compare it with the previous render. And let's say that now reflections are much blurry. It looks much better. But we can also change IOR value. If you want to get more glossiness in the material, we can increase reflection IOR value. Mostly I set it as it is, 1.6 by default, but remember that we can change it. I will check reflection IOR value and increase it to 1.9. And let's check the effect. This is our visualization when IOR value is set to 1.9. We can compare it with the previous result and let's see that here we have IR value 1.6 and here 1.9. Let's see that the reflections are much more visible when the IR value is higher. It's time to create third material. It will be glass material for the vase. I go to the asset editor and create new material glass. Firstly, let's set diffuse color. I set it to black. Reflection color is set to maximum value. Reflection glossiness is set to one. Then I go to the refraction color. And let's say that if I increase this value, my material is getting more and more transparent, like a glass. I will set refraction color to 242 in RGB color mode. I will apply material to the vase. It's done and let's render. This is my glass material. Let's see that the reflections are very visible and let's improve this material even more. I will add the color. To do this I will change fog color value. Let's set the brown color and here I will change the depth. Remember that higher values decrease the intensity of fog color and lower values increase the fog color effect. I will set the depth to five and thanks to that will reduce the fog color effect and the effect will be very natural. Okay, this is our glass material. It looks very realistic, but I will add very nice effect in the bump tab. I go to the bump tab and here I will apply noise. Let's take a look. I click on the texture slot and choose noise B. Here I will change the size. I would like to have something around 0 0.2 and that's it. I go to the previous asset. Let's check the effect on the preview. Of course, I will decrease the amount, the intensity of this effect to 0 0.1. I click on the tree planner projection word to fix the mapping and let's render. And using a bump value, we get very interesting glass effect. I go to the scene one, 
And additionally, I will add the plant. To do this, I will use Chaos Cosmos Browser. I will choose this model. I will delete the vase, scale it, and let's render the final scene. And this is our final visualization. It looks very interesting. We have created a very nice composition using free models and free materials. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Vray for SketchUp, check out my website edac.org. You will find there are many free assets, free designs, Vray courses, and articles. See you there.